Hello everyone, I'm Argurvata Dash and again uh, I'm back with another solution for uh, one of the problems which came in BMAT BSTAT 2023 which was held last Sunday. And uh, so in this problem we are going to discuss the last problem, the eighth problem. So with this problem I'll be done with the real analysis part uh, or the calculus problems, whatever you say. And uh, then yeah, so, uh, that for, so this problem Many had difficulties because, uh, I mean, it was, uh, I, I, do, I don't know why, but uh, it was a straightforward mean value theorem, uh, uh, apply application of a mean value theorem. And uh, uh, I think, um, I mean, you, uh, many of you should have been able to do this, but uh, again, uh, as I saw that many of the students had problem with this. Uh, so without wasting time, let's uh, discuss the problem. And if you are finding the solutions helpful, please, please don't forget to put a like. And uh, also please do share it among your uh, friends uh, who have also given the exam and uh, who are also preparing for the same. So yeah, the eighth problem here is saying that you have a function f from close zero one to r, be a continuous function, which is differentiable on open zero one, prove that either f is linear or there exists t belongs to 0, 1, such that mod of f of minus 1 minus f of 0 is less strictly less than mod of f dash t. So how do we go about this? That is, uh, either one of these has to happen. So what we do is we consider that uh, like uh, if one of them uh, is not happening, then the other will have to happen. Okay, so in that way, we can prove that uh, either one of these have to always happen. Okay, so... Let's start with the solution. Again, those who haven't solved or tried this problem out, so please uh, do try it out first and then look at the solution. Okay, so this is UGB 2023. Uh, so this is problem eight. Okay, so as I said that I'll assume one of them. So assume that mod of f dash t is less than equals to f of one, mod of f of one minus f of zero for all t belonging to zero one. Okay, now a uh, trivial thing that you can see is if f of one is equals to f of zero, then if is constant okay now so we will uh, assume that uh, either f of 1 is greater than 0 or f of 1 is strictly less than 0 okay so either one of these has to happen so we'll show one of the case and the other case will just similarly follow so we'll assume here that f of 1 is strictly greater than zero okay now by the mean value theorem i have that f of t minus f of zero mod so you take t uh, from zero to one included and uh, you apply the mean value theorem so f of t minus f of zero by uh, t minus zero is some f dash t1 where t1 is from 0 to 1, uh, strictly between 0 to 1 and uh, you have this relation and first you are going, going to get that this is less than equals to uh, f of 1 minus f of 0 times t where t belongs to close 0. Okay, so now I, I have considered f of 1 uh, is greater than 0, so no need to put modulus here. So now uh, we are getting this relation. So if we break down the modulus here, so two things can happen. So now let's assume one of them. So assume that f of t minus f of zero is strictly less than f of one minus f of zero times t for some t belonging to uh, so belonging to open zero one 
Okay, so for some t, I can't say that it's holding for all. So if it holds for some t, uh, it might hold for all, okay. But uh, let's assume that it's holding for some, okay. And uh, then what we get is, so let's see what we are getting, okay, into. So now we'll consider the function g of s, which is equals to f of s minus f of 0, where s belongs to t2, 1. Uh, so now, since, like you see that uh, g dash s is nothing but uh, f dash s, and uh, g is also differentiable because f is differentiable. So uh, all those things can be proved. So not going into those details, you can just write them also down. So coming to the main part, that is, uh, similarly, we can say that uh, now g dash, uh, so therefore, therefore, g dash s mod is less than equals to f of 1 minus f of 0, because we have taken uh, f of 1 is greater than f of 0 in this case. And uh, just using this given property. So now uh, this is for S belonging to close T to open one. So then uh, by the mean value theorem, again, what we get is that G of one minus G of T is less than equals to modulus of that is less than equals to f of one minus f of zero times one minus t. How I got this, just how I explained that, how I got this part, okay? Just the, everything is the same, nothing is changing. And uh, hence, just put, uh, uh, I mean, we have defined g in terms of f, so now put f, so we are getting f of 1 minus f of t mod is less than equals to f of 1 minus f of 0 and times 1 minus t. Okay. And so uh, we are getting f of 1 minus f of 0. Now we can put a modulus here, but this is positive. So it's basically the same. Now we'll add one f of t and subtract one f of t because we are just going to apply the triangle inequality here. So uh, you would, uh, so uh, as I said, I can put the modulus sign and then again, I apply the triangle inequality in these two parts, but this is already positive. So it's the same thing. And uh, this, so this is less than, now I'll apply here what I got here and uh, what I have assumed here. So uh, applying both of them, so I get, uh, f of f of 1 minus f of 0 times 1 minus t plus f of 1 minus f of 0 times t. And if you now simplify this out, so you'll be getting f of 1 minus f of 0. Now f of 1 minus f of 0 is a real number, right? So the same real number is less than itself. So this can't happen. So this is a contradiction. And so what we assume that for some t, this is happening. So that's not going to happen for any of the t. So that means for all t, we can say that. So hence, f of t minus f of 0 is greater than equals to f of 1 minus f of 0 times t for all t belongs to open zero one. Okay, so just the uh, inequality here is not satisfying for all t, uh, for uh, any of the t, so then for all t we are getting this. And uh, finally, what we are having is that, so this is the final result, that is f of t minus uh, f of zero, is less than equals to, uh, so whatever, uh, so the given thing that is here, 
that is f of t minus f of zero, whether it's positive or negative, doesn't matter. It's, uh, I mean, even, even if I uh, remove the uh, modulus sign, so uh, it's positive or negative, doesn't matter. Like it's always less than this thing, okay? Because uh, when it's positive, if it's less, it's, uh, when it's negative also, it will be less. And moreover, this side is positive. So uh, I can we can say that this is less than equals to f of one minus f of zero times t, uh, t belongs to close zero one. And uh, here also uh, we are getting that this is holding that is uh, greater than equals to f of one minus f of zero times t. Okay, and thus from here, it follows that uh, so we are getting that finally f of t minus f of 0 is equal to that f of 0 is equal to f of 1 minus f of 0 times t or in other words f of t is equal to uh, f of 1 minus f of 0 which is basically a constant uh, times t plus f of 0 which is again a constant and uh, this showing that the function is linear okay and uh, thus now if the second case that is if f of 1 is less than f of 0 so then just we will apply the same thing so apply so suppose uh, let's take that uh, so here we considered this so let's take that this is case one so apply case one on the function minus f of t and thus you'll be again able to prove the same thing because um, what will happen again for minus f of t this will reverse that is uh, my, uh, I mean suppose minus f of t is h of t so h of 1 will be greater than h of 0 and uh, again the same thing will follow and uh, we'll be able to prove that it's linear so uh, I think uh, we are done with this problem and uh, I hope you like the solution so if you liked it don't forget to put a like and uh, yeah so uh, I, with this problem, we have posted, uh, I think, uh, five of the, uh, uh, I mean, five out of eight uh, solutions to the problem. So three are left and uh, I'll be posting them soon. So stay tuned, keep watching and keep learning and uh, see you in the next one.